Hello everybody, welcome. On the 29th of May we've got a full moon at 8 degrees and 10 minutes of Sagittarius. And Sagittarius rules travel. And here I am somewhere different, I'm in Edinburgh. And it's absolutely glorious here. And what happens when you travel is that you become more aware for one thing, I've had to become more aware that everybody's driving on the other side of the road now after being in Greece for such a while. So uh, I have to say I've had a couple of close shaves because I keep looking the wrong way. But it has made me more alert, more aware. So this is a wonderful time for going on a spontaneous trip, an adventure. Um, you could even have an adventure in a place that you already know, but try to see it differently. At the time of this full moon, we've got a glorious grand trine with the ruler of Sagittarius, Jupiter, trine to Venus and also trine to Neptune. So we've got this water trine energy. <clears throat> And everything to do with water is allowing the flow, allowing things to happen. I'm allowing people to pass by. Everything is just going in a certain flow of energy. And I'm trusting that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. It's a wonderful time to get those creative juices moving to sense things rather than to talk about things too much. Sagittarius has a tendency to voice its opinions. You know, I think this and that and the other. And this is an opportunity now to really feel things. How about being with somebody and not saying anything? Just feeling the presence of somebody. Not needing to absolutely talk all the time. And of course, Sagittarius being always the comedian of the Zodiac. Um, I'm certainly having some fun here in Edinburgh. Um, I've been outside of the UK for a, a little while. And um, it was quite a surprise to me when I found out that uh, my five and ten pound notes uh, were no longer legal tender. <laughs> um, so I had to go to the bank and uh, exchange them for some proper money, money so to speak. Um, it's a good time always for seeing the funny side of things, but most importantly for seeing your life from a new perspective. Sometimes you get so close to things, you live in the weeds, yes? You're, you're sort of always scrambling from one thing to another. So see if you can take yourself to higher ground at this time, so that all the things that you think are so big in your life are not so magnified, they're smaller. They don't seem so daunting. A relationship maybe, your money, whatever it is that's bothering you. Try to take that bird's eye view. And I hope you can hear the beautiful birds in the background here in this glorious spring day here, unusually warm here and as England likes to say it's maybe one of the hottest days since records began at this time of the year. So I'm going to finish up with some uh, little shots and scenes of Edinburgh so that you'll get a sense of how beautiful it is here in Scotland. People are wonderful and um, it's great. I'm having a great time and I hope that uh, Sharing it with you will be a big uplift for you because Sagittarius is always about uplifting, inspiring. Just look at this view, isn't it glorious? You get a whole new view on your world when you see something from high up. Mm -hmm. 